Years ago, someone once told me that they don't like to wear color because they think it makes them look like a clown. Yeah, let me show you why she was wrong. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. So I have done a neutral video on how to wear neutral and there may be a part two to that, I'm not completely sure. But I did want to dabble in color a little bit as the spring is on this way and that's when we really, really start to wear more color. So there are people that are afraid of color and I believe when they think of color they think of outfits like this, like this, or like this. And while I believe that all of these women actually have a great sense of style and I adore the way they all use color and I think that they really have a, a grasp on color theory, I can see how this can be overwhelming for some. So instead of thinking of color like this, think about it like this, like this, or even like this. There are so many ways to wear color, but in this video, we are going to talk about four ways. We're going to talk about how to ground a color with a neutral. We are going to talk about how to wear in a monochromatic way. We are going to talk about how to pair colors that are complementary, and then we're going to learn how to work with analogous colors. When you are afraid of color, a good entryway into wearing color is wearing it with neutrals and grounding that color with a neutral. I do it all the time. It is perhaps the easiest way to introduce color into your wardrobe. I recently bought this beautiful pink coat from Naked Fashion that I told you guys about. And if you watched my last vlog, you kind of got a, a glimpse of it. But when I wear that coat, I often wear it with just all black or all white or beige because not only is it an easy reach, it's an easy way to bring color into my wardrobe. This woman has on a very up-to-date very trendy but also kind of sexy outfit. The baggy cargo pants, beautiful, the bodysuit, the hat that looks very much like the RB hat that I've been telling you guys about, and then the standout color piece is this beautiful red Birkin. In this video, we aren't talking about shape so much yet. We're really just talking about color, but the shape of this, the shapes in this outfit really help the outfit do something special, right? The baggy pants make it a little more modern. The tighter top helps even out the baggy pants and the hat just gives it a little extra flair. We know that this outfit is so easy to recreate, mainly because all of these things are very much on trend. We've talked about this before, but you could find cargo pants, particularly cargo pants that look similar to this from Express, a Goldie, um, ASOS. They are literally everywhere and I'll put them all in the description box so it's not a hard thing to recreate. This cropped jacket from Aritzia really gives you that same feel. And you could go for an RB hat, but there are so many other options at Nordstrom, at Bloomingdale's, and much cheaper but still give you that same vibe. The standout piece of all these pieces of that outfit is the beautiful red Birkin. And it really does something. When you have an all neutral outfit on with one pop of color, their eye automatically goes to the color. I plan on recreating this outfit to fit my needs. And when I do, I will be wearing my new Teddy Blake bag. Teddy Blake so graciously sent this bag over for me to show you guys and it is absolutely beautiful. I had to go with a beautiful pop of color as the spring is upon us and I love a fuchsia. If you're not new here, you know that I love fuchsia. So let's look inside this bag and let me show you what fits in it very quickly. I love the way that it opens here. Let's open it up. This bag also comes with a strap that I haven't opened yet. Let me show you what fits inside. It easily 
easily closes and it is so cute. It smells good. Like, this is a perfect spring summer bag. Even though Teddy Blake sent me this bag, I have bought a Teddy Blake bag before. It was brown. If you've been following me for a while, you've seen that bag. And I am very, very happy to have this one. I will have some information about Teddy Blake bags in the description box. If you like it, there are tons of colors. If pink is too much for you, of course they have black and more neutral colors. But it would be in the description box. And yeah, take a look. Really cute stuff. So wearing an all black outfit with my new Teddy Blake bag is in the works. There are so many ways to ground the color that you want to wear with a neutral. These three women just get it. Tracy Ellis Ross is the woman that I look to often who wears these beautiful colors and does not shy away from mixing them. However, in this picture, all you are focusing on is the beautiful pink in the middle. While she does have on a very beautiful gray jacket that frames that beautiful pink silky outfit, you are mostly looking at the color, right? I love that the boots and the pants and the shirt are, are all the same color, but notice that her earrings are still pink, but a different color. We'll get into that a little bit later. This blue and light brown color combination is superb, okay? This woman is one, another woman who just has a, a complete understanding of color theory. She does not miss when it comes to matching colors together. Now, when you see this blue, oftentimes people would think to put it with a beige or a black or a gray. I loved that she put it with this color because the color is a neutral, right? But when you look at this outfit, the thing that sticks out the most is this beautiful blue on top. I love everything about this. I think she did a fantastic job. And if you watched my neutral video, you know that silver and gold metallic are a neutral or a pseudo neutral. Go check out that video. You'll learn more about that, right? So even though all of this in this outfit is a very standout and very attention grabbing, you mostly see the green in this outfit. Because that green is grounded with that beautiful metallic silver pseudo neutral, right? It really allows the green to stand out. And honestly, this is a beautiful, beautiful outfit. I love again that she chose to go with a metallic neutral as opposed to a white or a black. Choosing to pair it with metallic gives depth to this outfit and I love it. I feel like sometimes using neutrals to ground that color really has benefits in that it can draw attention away from the parts that you don't want attention and really give attention to the places that you actually love and feel comfortable with. This is the easiest way, in my opinion, to bring color into your wardrobe. Oftentimes, people confuse monochromatic with wearing um, gray, black, and white. But in reality, monochromatic just means that you're wearing one color. So you can wear a monochromatic colorful look. And really dressing in one color can really take out the guesswork when you're trying to think about what matches and what doesn't. However, it's important to consider four things when you're gonna go for the monochromatic look. You wanna think about hue, tint, tone, and shade. So hue is the pure color, the purest of, let's take red for example, the purest of the red, that is called the hue. A tint is when you take the purest hue and add in white. So pink is actually a tint of red. The tone is when you take the hue and a gray color and mix it. And then the shade is when you take the hue, the purest color, and mix it with black. So something like burgundy, right? So you want to consider the tint, the tone, and the shade when dressing monochromatically because it has the ability to add depth to the outfit. So let's talk about, again, Atlantic Pacific. If you notice, the shoes that she's wearing with this all pink outfit is a darker shade. The bag's a different color, the dress and the sunglasses are all different pinks. The shade of the shoes really gives substance to the outfit and there, there is a solid presence of that pink. And the sunglasses 
also do the same, really give the outfit more depth, right? Had she had worn black sunglasses and a black bag and black shoes, this outfit would have looked different. Not bad, but different. This makes this outfit very polished. By her mixing the tones and the tints and the shades, it looks more polished, a little more attention grabbing, and just beautiful. Again, these three women have color theory on lock. They do such a fantastic job. This one of Karen is the coolest picture. I love a lot of her pictures, most of them, but she looks so cool in this picture. Now let's take away from the bag because I know that's not the same color or tone of the rest of the outfit. I'm really focusing on the shirt, the jacket, and the pants. How amazing, right? If you notice the pants, and the shirt and the jacket are not exactly the same color, but it kind of looks like it, but it all blends seamlessly together. I think that she is just genius. This is one of my favorite outfits. And then this one with the Brandon Blackwood bag, um, the different shades of pink. And again, I know we're not talking about shapes, but shapes play a huge part in this whole outfit. It is absolutely stunning. And then this woman in the green, I love that the shoes are still green, but it's different than the other green in the rest of the outfit. Same monochromatic look, but really, really fashion, very fashion. I love her. And if none of this makes sense to you, and it's still like, what are you talking about, girl? If all else fails, just get a beautiful skirt or pantsuit. All three of these women did a yellow pantsuit and absolutely killed it. Wearing complementary colors can be a bold move, but when executed properly, they can just be so completely chic. So complementary colors are colors that are directly across from each other on the color wheel. And while that might seem overwhelming, you probably see complementary colors every day and don't even realize it. Or if you're a fashion person and love to dress, you just have a feeling that these colors go together. Your fashion spidey sense is telling you that these outfits, or these colors, excuse me, go together, right? So we see it in everyday things, but don't realize it. For example, purple and yellow go together. Um, and you've seen a lot of sports team like the Lakers. You guys, are you surprised that I knew that? <laughs> you also see it in blue and orange. Um, in the Knicks, again, not a sports fan, but I am a New Yorker, so I know what the Knicks are, right? And then another complementary color is green and red, which is the Christmas colors. Now, while these seem extremely hard to wear and to look chic, let me show you how and why they are very wearable. A lot of times when we're thinking of these bold complementary colors, we're thinking of something like this. And while I can assure you that these do match, I also realize that they can be very overwhelming. Just to go to work or church or to Walmart, let me show you how easily they can be incorporated into your wardrobe. Again, this is a good time to consider tint, shade, and tone. Victoria Beckham is one of those people that look effortless in almost anything she wears. She has gotten this fashion thing on lock, right? Even within her own brand, it's beautiful. In this picture, you can tell that Victoria considered not only that purple and yellow were complementary colors, she considered the shade and the tone of the purple and yellow that she wore. These pants are not a pure hue. You can tell either some gray or some black or something has been mixed with them to make them darker. And the purple, the purple is pretty purple, <laughs> but you could also tell that maybe a little white was added to it to make it a little, a little more palatable and not, not so crayon, if you will. Another thing that she used in this whole outfit was the use of putting in neutrals. If you see that her belt was black, her purse was burgundy, which is a pseudo neutral, like we talked about in the neutral video. So not only did she ground colors with a neutral, she ground a color combination with the neutral. And again, she just hit it out the park. By considering tone, tint, and shade, um, she really was able to make a cohesive outfit that's not overwhelming, but also very, very fashionable. So while purple and yellow, again, 
are a lot. <laughs> Let's consider these three ladies. So what these ladies did was take purple and really uh, make it tinted. Not they didn't tint it, but they wore they wore a tint of purple, which is lavender. And lavender is an easier color to wear if you are afraid of that purple hue, that, that pure purple hue, right? And what's great about this is they all did the same thing with the yellow and worn in different ways. The purple or the lavender sweater that she's wearing with the sweater over it gives it a little shape. And the, the yellow pants, phenomenal. And even in blazer form, the colors still go together and really, really work. What's interesting is, and I threw this in there to shake it up a little bit, Cardi B's all lavender outfit with the yellow Birkin can seem overwhelming. But imagine that she didn't have the purple, the lavender wig, and her hair was um, a brown or a black, right? And if the jacket didn't show midriff and she just threw it over her shoulders, that would be much, much easier to wear. Now, while I believe that she looked really cool for wherever she was going, I don't believe that it's easy to wear that every day unless you're in a certain type of environment but the color combination is more palatable and i think she looks great another example of complementary colors are blue and orange right wow that's a lot who's gonna wear blue and orange these three women did a phenomenal job of wearing blue and orange and considering the tone and the shade of each color. Olivia Palermo is another one who has a really good grasp on color. And if you notice, she didn't use a pure blue. It looked like she used a shade of blue um, that is very dark. So it looks like a navy blue and then this beautiful kind of soft orange and it goes together beautifully even the way she styled it i know again we're not talking about shape in this video but shape really plays a part in the way she's wearing this outfit and then this lady again with the navy blue and the orange which is a perfect color combination i love these together it's just really chic the way she styled it again with the jacket over her shoulders the little pearl necklace detail and the beautiful stripes um she even has a little bit of gray in there which is some more neutral the blue and the orange combination is still in there very beautiful and you're wearing color and then this first scarf that's just casually thrown over this i believe is a trench coat with these blue shoes is a phenomenal way to bring color into your wardrobe without wearing too much the combination of the blue and the orange of the complementary colors are grounded with this beautiful neutral jacket or coat or trench coat, whatever it is that she has on. And it is to die for. I absolutely love this. Can you tell I love feathers? <laughs> Considering the hue and the shade and the tint can really make your outfit go from more costumey and looking like a costume to extremely chic. So it's very important to take those three into account. And the last way we're gonna talk about today is pairing analogous colors together. Girl, what are you talking about? <laughs> Analogous colors, are, again, let's go to the color wheel, are colors that are close to each other or right next to each other on the color wheel. It could be two to five. So two different colors all the way up until five in each grouping. Again, this is something that if you're a fashion person that it just comes to you or a color person, you already know these colors go together. You just don't know why. This is a great example of how to execute this theory, right? I love that she grounded it with a neutral white pants. The shoes are added bonus, but I love that she grounded it with a neutral pair of neutral pants. And then the orange and the yellow plays off very well together. I even love that she put it over her shoulder so that the top the color of the top can shine through she's one of my favorites um, I haven't seen her in a while but she's definitely one of my favorites I love what she did here I particularly love the way that this lady who is 57 years old who does not miss a beat she really shows you or people that you can have style at any age I absolutely love her she did a fabulous job of putting these two colors together she always looks great but what stood out to me was that she paired this Gucci bag and I love the different color green shade on the trim of the bag because I really feel that that helps give more depth to the outfit so this would not be a simply Kura video if I didn't give you some things to shop. Not many, but there are some really beautiful standout, beautiful, colorful pieces um, that I want to show you. So let's start with this beautiful fuchsia coat jacket trench, I guess, from Express. The color is to die for. Could you imagine wearing that 
with the Teddy Blake bag for a, a nice, beautiful, monochromatic look. If you didn't get the yellow suit from last year in Zara when all the fashion girls were wearing it from the last two fashion weeks ago, last fashion week, I don't remember. They have a beautiful yellow suit at Express. Um, very similar color. I do wish it was a tad bit brighter for my complexion anyway, because my complexion is very uh, yellow. I could really handle a lot of yellow. Um, but if you didn't get it, you could totally look over there to see if that works for you. And then, even though this is not a color, I wanted to show you guys this denim top that I think was really cute. I have a denim dress that I wear um, that I've worn in my videos and every time I wear it someone likes it and I don't have the link to give you guys because it's a very old denim dress. But this looks like the top of my denim dress and it really gives the same type of vibe and I think it is adorable. I'm really thinking about getting it. I don't know. I don't need it. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> But I wanted to show you guys just in case you like that denim dress um, and you like the shape of the top. If you are a neutral girl and want to have a little bit of color because the colors are still a lot for you, look at this J. Crew combination. The shirt and the pants are very light pink, almost neutral really, and very wearable and I think so cute. J. Crew also has a three-piece pink suit that is much easier to wear um, that is a tint of red, right? Because pink is a tint of red, we've learned that. It's just very spring and I think it's very beautiful. And the last thing I want to show you like, is two different things. This mango jumpsuit paired with this blazer, this long blazer from Zara. Now the color looks very similar, it might not be exact, but because it's not exact, it's okay because we want to remember you want to add depth to the outfit. So if you wore this jumpsuit with this blazer, either over your shoulders or just regularly as a blazer, it can really give a stunning, a stunning monochromatic look. I think that is just chef's kiss. So, so pretty. Anyway, you guys, that is it. I have done all the talking. I love color. I also love neutrals, but I love color. And I hope that this video helped you believe that you can wear color too and for it not to be so, so scary. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.